Good day everyone, Swifty Sloth here and welcome back to another Minecraft Legacy video inside of Swifty's Spectacular World. Where today, we have a very strange and very kind of quirky video. But, just like every episode guys, we need to go over and I'll be showing who I added to the Love Garden today. So, if we come over here, just in the Love Garden, as always, the person I will be adding today is Mr. Monkey Jim. Who uh, made a really, really nice comment about the series and I, I just really loved it and um yeah I don't know it's really stuck with me so I just want to say thank you so much Mr. Monkey Jim for the comment and if you guys do want to be in the love garden for the next episode make sure to leave a very nice build recommendation or comment and I'll make sure to add you if you haven't been already but we also need to go ahead and grab a dog for today's episode and I think today we are going to have Fridgy yep Fridgy come on mate you are going to be the dog with us today because he actually kind of matches the colors of the thing we're trying to get today. Because recently, let's just say my mining trips have been pretty far from successful. I have been mining for hours and I don't have any diamonds. As you can even see, I've had to downgrade from diamond to iron. I have literally nothing. So to try to summon some diamonds, I'm making sort of like an extra mine and a diamond shrine. I'm literally going to be making a little like temple four diamonds <laughs> so as you can see guys i've made this little area right here um which i do need to break so i'll make the door like there it's not going to be too big but as you can see i've got some of the blocks um from the nether because if you didn't see the last episode we went to the nether and got some of these blocks um and yeah i'm probably gonna have to get some more but yeah it's gonna be a very simple design but um yeah it's gonna be us building a diamond shrine that will hopefully summon us some diamonds so yeah with that said let's get straight to building all right everyone so i think it's not going to be the biggest of builds it's going to be quite small actually but um yeah i just want this nice little fun little build and that will hopefully oh, i already stuffed it <laughs> oh why do you guys watch me um there we go <laughs> i also just want to take a moment to say guys thank you all so much for the support on these recent videos it has been absolutely amazing and i just want to say thank you so so very much it means so much to me and yeah the numbers on the videos though recently guys that you guys seem to really like these legacy videos and they're so fun to make and it kind of really sparks that passion of old minecraft and the old like sort of style of videos that i always used to watch and it's actually really nice to see that people still enjoy watching these uh, oh that's going to be painful to keep breaking but as you can see everyone i'm putting glowstone on the side because it's going to be sort of like a futuristic look it's going to be something quite fun so if we do something like this chiseled quartz on the sides like this i'm gonna have to get um make some more which i'm going to quickly do but i just want to do the sort of design that i'm going to be going for which you'll see so it's gonna be something like this and then quartz like that there we go all the way around now i really like to i actually really like that i've never that's the thing because i like to experiment in the series this is my first time ever really sort of using any quartz or glowstone in any builds so this is actually really fun to do so far but i do need to make some more chiseled and pillar blocks so i'll be right back when i have that to everybody so as you can see i have got much more quartz and um yeah it's basically, I, what I did was I went back to the nether and I actually used one of the features that I actually forgot existed entirely. It's basically um, the reset nether feature. Well, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a feature that allows you to actually reset your nether port, um, your nether entirely. So that way you can, uh, you um, never sort of limited to the blocks and stuff that you want to build with, which is really, really helpful. And I just realized I'm still out. All right, before I go into that, um, but yeah, it's actually a really cool feature that allows you to kind of tell, um, well not tell, but allows you to like never run out of resources of any kind, which is really, really helpful. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I might put glowstone there, maybe. I think that would be a pretty cool design. So, I stuff that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. So, if we put glowstone like this, just like that. Oh, I'm using pillar blocks. Oh my god, I'm this, I'm so hopeless. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's actually a really good design. I know Stampy did use it, and it makes it so you never really run out of, like, the, um, things like glowstone and quartz and whatnot, which is actually something that you can really, really easily run out of, surprisingly, which you wouldn't really think so, but just from mining these quartz around the nether, it actually, like, completely ran my nether dry, which, which is actually kind of worrying. But now what I need to do is go ahead and get the, oh no, so and go ahead and make the last chisel blocks. And I actually think I might change up the where the glowstone is. But so, as you can see here, what I've actually done is I went around and placed some leaves all around it just to add that nice little lushness, which I love onto the build. Um, I also moved the um, the glow glowstone windows, I guess you say, up a bit. 
And um, yeah, I also filled in the rest of this. And I also went and went for mining again. And if you guys didn't see last episode, I lost 40 levels in the um in the Nether, and I only had seven from mining all these quartz. I'm now back at 36. Quartz are insanely efficient for that. It's actually insane. However, guys, what we need to do now is actually start on the roof design, which I think is going to be something pretty cool. Um, it's going to be something real sort of basic, but I think it should work out pretty well. Now, what it's going to be is something up along the lines of like a slab and stair sort of like, I don't really know, pattern almost. Oh, and um, it's going to be something like that all the way around and then at the top as well. So I'll show you what I, what I mean when it's actually completely all the way around done. As you can see here, I've made this sort of like two by two design. I don't know, it's kind of a weird design and already this actually looks really cool and I don't really want to do anything really else with this. I think what I might do is just add like a pillar block here on each of the corners and then I might add, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, re I'm really sure what I'll do, but um, it's going to be something just like this, real simple. And that is literally just going to be the roof. And, um, yeah, it's a very simple design, but I think it should be a nice and very efficient sort of design. I think, I don't know, it's something that I've never really done before. And like I said, I do like experimentation. And I also just want to say, guys, if you have any build recommendations whatsoever, make sure to leave them down below. Because I do run, about, run out of ideas, and I love when you guys do give me like ideas for builds. Um, but yeah, what I need to quickly do is go make some a bit more stairs, and then I'll be right back. So I got the rest of all the blocks that I think I will need for the roof. So we got all the stairs and like that. And then I think what I'm going to do is put glowstone around the edges like this, which is actually a really fun sort of design. I don't know. Kind of using all these different blocks is actually really, really fun. And I don't know, it's just because I never actually do these sort of block designs ever. So it's actually really, really interesting and fun to do. And then I think after this, what I'm going to do is kind of just design like this. I don't know, I kind of want to do like a weird sort of design. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I think it's going to be something like that. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just like putting random bits in random areas. So I don't really know what this is going to be like. And I think like that. What does that look like? That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I don't know why, but I don't know what this design is, but it's actually pretty cool. Now what I want to do is just add a little bit more. I'm just going to add like a pillar block like that and add some slabs like this and do this in all the areas like this. And that should be pretty good and boom. All right, that is the roof design, something that I've never ever done before. And I'm actually really happy with that. That looks absolutely awesome. What does it look like from inside? Oh, that's actually really, really cool. I'm happy with that. That looks insane. That's one of the coolest builds I've done in a long time. Now what I need to do though, guys, is do the flooring, which I'll be back when I've kind of mined out the grass. So I've got a shovel and what I'm going to do is quickly place the door. So that's the door like that. And now what I'm going to do is just quickly mine all this out, which is quickly, actually pretty quickly. I don't know why, but this iron shovel feels really fast compared to normal. Um, so we're going to do something like this, and if you got, for those who don't actually know, this is actually our all hollow land underneath this. And there's also a lot of monsters that, um, kind of welcome themselves into the world just underneath here. This is like the, my upside down version of my world, you know? Like, um, you know in the Stranger Things that they got the upside down world? This is my upside down world down there. So that's, that's actually kind of a fun thing. I'm definitely going to do something with it in the future. Who knows what I'm going to do? Maybe like a cave build or something like that. I don't know. It'd be pretty cool though. And it should be qui uh, quitty? should be quitty. <laughs> it should be pretty fun. So I'm just going to use spruce planks just like this. And it should it is pretty nice sort of design. Nice contrast as well. And the lighting in here is actually really nice. But now what I want to do is actually a really fun sort of design. So what I want to do is kind of experiment a bit. So because this is a diamond, um, a diamond... Uh, what's called a diamond shrine i do want to actually well, I, it's four diamonds so i'm um, what i'm going to do is sacrifice my last diamonds and really prized resources and hopefully this will allow me to summon you know the almighty diamonds that i require in this world so that is my diamond sort of shrine area which oh, i actually love the look of that i don't know why i love the textures of the old thing and then what i'm going to do is kind of make a little indentation into the ground right here and I think this is where I'm going to have the mine going all the way down so I think what I might do is just quickly just do something like this like all the way around a little flooring edge thing I don't know and then I'm gonna try to make like a little gradient sort of thing and I don't really know how I'm actually gonna do this because I've I have actually had no plan for this 
Um, I think what I might do is just have like a ladder or something here and then water at the bottom on this side. I think that's what I'm going to do. But I think I'm going to do that in between episodes just because, well, it's going to be a pretty deep hole and I don't really want to mine it out with this. And yeah, hopefully this will allow me to get all the diamonds that I require. So if I just quick, actually, I don't know how I'm going to get out first. Um, this is a problem. This might be a bit problematic and I'll just do that. But yeah, um, this is going to go all the way down to diamond level. And then now what I want to quickly just do, get a crafting table. Actually, I'll get two crafting tables because I've got to decorate it with some crafting tables, you know. So I get some crafting tables like that. And then now what I'm going to do is just quickly make some slabs. There we go. And that should be pretty good. That cave sound is quite creepy. I hate cave sounds in this game. They're very eerie. Um, there we go. Just like that. And that is a little design that I just really like. And I don't know, it kind of makes a more of a gradient sort of effect down into the depths. Oh, I just fell down again. Ah, <sighs> that's a problem. That is quite problematic. Why do I always do the most stupid things? But yeah, I'm just going to do slabs all the way around like this. And yeah, hopefully I have enough. Actually, do I have enough? And I'm, of course I bloody double it over. Oh my god, I cannot do anything today. And I have the perfect amount. There we go. Okay, I am happy with this design. So if we just take a moment and look at it, that is the actual design. And I think what I might do is just get one last little touch and then, yeah, then I think that should be it complete. So, as you can see here, Fridgy and me, we kind of got some lapis blocks, and what we're going to do, just for some last minute sort of detailing, I'm just going to do a little lapis block sort of thing, just like this, and I don't know, I just love that sort of bluish look, oh that looks so cool! That looks insane. I don't know why. I just love that look. Um, and I've got some extra stuff. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. So maybe just some leaves. Maybe maybe just add some leaves down like this. I think that is a nice little design. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. That looks so nice. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done in Minecraft, honestly. I don't know. It's just so out of the way. Something I've never really thought of doing. I haven't had this much creativity for a build in a long time so i don't know it's just so fun to do but with that said everyone i think that is where i'm going to end off this episode so if you did enjoy make sure to consider liking and subscribing as this video did take a very long time mainly because of the quartz um and i really really appreciate it so if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe uh, make sure to also leave any um comments or build recommendations i'll make sure to add you to the love guard if you haven't been already um but yeah with that said thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a great day and good bye